I think the most important thing when it comes to these games, especially just before a big tournament like the World Cup, is momentum. Uh, as it is now, we, we, we're very ready to, to play in that World Cup. We've, had a, we've got a good run um, the last year and we've had some really good results. So if the plan departed for Bangladesh tomorrow, we would have been ready. Um, but obviously Australia is the, the challenge that's in front of us, front of us at the moment. Um, and it's very important that we keep our winning ways and we keep playing good cricket. Um, like I said, momentum building up into a tournament like this is really important. We've had a couple of days now where we <clears throat> just took a break away from cricket, uh, which I think is just as important as, as, as time in the nets. Um, you know, obviously the guys who played some played a test match, it is very mentally draining. So it was really important that we could just relax a bit, and we did that. And we had a nice uh, little camp um, for the World Cup. Um, so, but today is practice day, um, and it will be a very hard practice because it is our only only practice before tomorrow. So we'll we'll be putting in the time today, and then uh, hopefully get us ready for tomorrow. It was one of the out of the box ideas that we were thinking of, um, but as you saw, pretty much straight away when we went to Sri Lanka. Um, that quickly changed because we, we, we just we feel that AB skills in the middle overs are, are very valuable. Um, games get win and lose <clears throat> during that time. Uh, and he's too good of a player not to, to have him there. You know, we, we felt that we could, we could use other personnel in the, in the top three or top four. But certainly when it comes to the, to the most pressurised environment and probably the toughest time to bat in the subcontinent, it's, it's those guys. And, and we felt that AB, what he brings to the model order there is, is invaluable. I think that's something we've done really, really well over the last 14 months. Uh, we've, we've made sure that, you know, that was myself and Russell's plan from the word go, that there wasn't too much chopping and changing, uh, that we... We could experiment with one or two uh, things, like you said, with AB maybe opening the batting. Um, but to play as many games in, in your position that you're going to be featuring in the World Cup. And I, I think that we've got that spot on. Uh, our top six has been pretty much the same the last year, apart from when we've rested one or two guys. And uh, our bowlers has also been really consistent in who's been playing, uh, bar one or two combinations. So, I think 95% of the time we've always had 95% of the team playing um, and that's what you want. I feel that's something we were also doing really well in one day cricket in the last while as well. There's a lot more structure um, and for me that no matter how short the game is, there's always a, a sense of structure that's needed. Yeah, there's a huge amount of respect for the two countries. I mean, as Michael Clark sums it up beautifully when he speaks about South Africa you know he, he's got so much respect for us and then we, we've got the same you know we know we're playing a very powerful cricket team um, and certainly on top of their game so if you're not on the day if you're not as good as you should be then you'll end up losing and then it's the same for them they know if they're not at their best uh, we'll, we'll use of that make use of that chances and that's what happened in the test series the first test we had our guards down, they won it. The second test, we did, did that to them. And then the third test, they did it to us again. So it's almost like if you <clears throat> make one or two mistakes, the other, t the other team is so good that uh, it's difficult to come back from it.